showing. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll return tomorrow. It is absolutely glorious today in Chicago. It's over 70 degrees. Look at it. We have our windows open, the fan going. It literally feels like the first day of spring. Um, which in the long term, not so great for climate. In the short term, we're going to get outside. So, you ready to have a good day? Oh gosh. You never heard the song. I'll put the name of it here to look it up on Spotify. <laughs> Teddy's in the high chair just chilling. And we're having pot stickers for lunch. We're just like at Ohana, you know? Nice. This is this is dance moves. We lucked out with this lovely day um, because Peter has like has meetings all day today. He's really slammed. It really just worked the best to do a stroller nap, and it worked. Um, and I got to enjoy. Teddy is also asleep, so it's been a nice time. It just the leaves are falling. It's just like a picturesque fall day with like the addition of it being 70 degrees. But now I am going to head back because. My cousin Emily, she is coming over to get the load down on Evie because she's going to be taking care of her while we are gone. So more pre-vacation stuff. Checked off our to-do list. I'm just sitting over here getting the vlog up and I look over and see all these plushies. Are you so proud of yourself? You got all the plushies. You are just the sweetest big brother. <laughs> All right, here we are, Belmont Harbor. Can I just point out how, like it's crazy, there's no boats. I mean, there's that one, and there's some little ones from the Yacht Club. It is so gorgeous. It is breezy and just under 70 degrees, two weeks before Thanksgiving. What is that, Chicago? What is that? But I, you know what? I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to soak it up because you won't know I'll be complaining for the next five months that it's freezing. But I'm out getting the six miler done. But I just had to show you the beauty. Norman Harbor. Come on. Beautiful city. Come on. People being cute on benches over there. Come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this, it's like golden hour right there. It's stupendous, stupendously, stupendously beautiful. And then, you gotta run past the leaves here. Seems like a fire hazard right there. And then, you turn this quarter out of this, this different harbor, and boom! There she is, the greatest city in the world, bar none. Bar none. Can you hear what we're watching? We have Tangled on. I realized in so many videos recently that I have so much, so much schmutz on my shirt from a day of mommin. Um, so yeah, excuse that at any time. We are hanging out before Peter gets back from his run. 
I'm a fool girl. I'm going back. <laughs> He's enjoying Tangled. We're just hanging out eating some caramel apple before Peter gets home from his run. And I'm just like not sure what to do. Like the apartment's in a good state. I do have like a little bit more I could pack. We like have time but we don't have time. It's like this weird like in between place right now where I feel like some things I should work on. I don't know. What should we what should we do tonight to prepare? Oh look at this beggar. Uh. Hi. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You happy? You wake up from your last nap of the day so happy? He's been he's been napping like like a champ. Yeah. As long as like he's been just like really happy when I put him in a swaddle we sing our it's a small world right he's been doing a good job napping little routine never hurt oh gosh <laughs> gonna get gonna get it oh gosh you got it trip number two to jewel this is a quickie it's a quick one all right it's quick Easy, not too many extras. Oh yeah, it's a pizza kid. Bom 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 bom. It's a pizza pizza kid. Oh yeah, got my Donald Duck plate. Got my pizza cut up. My brother bit a toy and it hurt his gum. Good job. Nice. Tonight's a triple bath night. You might be like, wait a minute. James, Teddy, Evie. I'm going to throw it back to her bath at, um, in Florida in our first apartment. So good. Are you tired now? Now the drying process of this little floofy ball. Yeah. This is another whole process. <laughs> so I'm gonna go try to one man show this bath and also not attempt to get in the bathroom because usually I just like put on some chunks and hop in there with it to make it easier. But it's triple bath night and she's the first one up, so. She's fresh. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Do you guys like Evie's naturally crimped hair? So, so I'm real excited about Disney. I feel like I would've been like, I was in like my anxious mode from like when Sunday came. Cause we had so much to do this week. I had so much to do for work. I had a lot of meetings, a really busy week. I know we had so much to do around the apartment to get it ready for us to be gone, to get it ready for our cousin to watch Eve. Um, stuff like doctor's appointments, stuff like getting haircut appointments for me and James, running, because that's back in the swing. And today, this afternoon, I was like getting done with work. It's a balloon from David's birthday. Um, I was finally like, saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes I gotta check around what's going on in the background of these shots. So. What was I even saying? Oh, around like four, three, four o'clock when I got finished my last meeting. I still had work to do, but I was done with meetings for the day. I was like, ah, this is great. Like, I finally feel it. Like, I only have one more day of work. I mean, I still have a 20 mile run and haircuts ahead of it. Like, there's still a lot to do, but majority of the hard stuff is over. And now it's just like getting closer and closer and closer to the excitement. Bummer about our plans changing for the concert, but we might have like a nice cozy night home with the kids and live stream it because they're gonna live stream it so not what we planned but we're making the best of the situation you know and then it's gonna be a Disney day it's gonna be well not even Disney but like a vacation day 
We're going to be staying at a hotel near the airport after haircuts and runs. This girl's losing her mind. If anybody ever knows anybody who has dogs, like, do you know what they do? Like, they, you give them a bath and then they, like, run around like crazy having those zoomies and then rub their bodies against everything because they don't like that they smell not like their scent or not like their home. They smell like the shampoo you use. So then they like, that's why they rub themselves on everything. They like try to get this, their, their normal scent back. So she's kind of freaking out a little bit, but um, one bath down. Sarah's got Teddy right now for bath number dose. And then I will take Jamesy in for his bath while Sarah gets Teddy ready for uh, the evening. That's called teamwork. Ready, set, go! She has been running back and forth and I don't think I caught it. Oh, there she goes. Uh, but I just called her and she came. Do you hear her little feet? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My word. The YouTube algorithm also promoted this video by a Hannah Pock who looks like she has like a version of vlogging but she lives in New York and I've only watched 10 minutes of one of her videos and I really like it so I'm gonna subscribe and see where she goes from here this is one of those moments where I wish we the zoom lens was a Sony so I could zoom in on Evie's face right now Evie what are you doing you okay you fresh you clean feel so good yeah, Jamesy. What you doing, Evie? Why are you by the door? Are you gonna break out? Are you gonna break free? She's exhausted after her bath, but she's fresh, clean, and feeling great. Check out Hannah Park. We'll put the link down below. She doesn't have that many like current, recent videos, but she's got a cool editing style. I like how she does these like locations and how she like puts commentary, even if she doesn't say it. Check it out. I forgot to online check into our second reservation. I don't know. I can't wait till this is all gone Saturday. Um, I don't know if we told you guys that we have a second reservation for our very last night. We're at Saratoga Springs the entire week. We have an extra night that we added because flights were cheaper to go out Monday. So we grabbed an extra night at the beach club. So super awesome and exciting there right so i'm just we were set for our online check-in for saratoga i was looking at mdx getting excited our plans for each day and then i was like oh wait it says we can check into beach club but we probably never online checked in we will have the internal transfer our luggage and stuff but that they, they make it simple for you it's truly wild that i've had this window open all day and it's still even at this hour probably in the 60s I'm having a very nice cool spring or fall like crisp just crisp enough air and to make it feel fresh as all get out in here we got bags we got luggage we got more bags we got more luggage do you want to wear this to run tomorrow yes please tomorrow is friday and i'm off for six work days I don't remember the last time that's happened. <laughs> right, because we had that I mean, extra obviously day. your paternity leave, but... But that was, is different. Yeah, it's very different. There's... A, our kitchen windows are open. I have to close those. It's going to get chilly. Like, between today and, like, Saturday, it's going to drop, like, 30 degrees. Oh, Sarah, it's going to drop, like, 30 degrees between right now and 11.30 at night and, like, noon tomorrow. It's good to be home. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. It is like 30 degrees colder today than when I was here on this run yesterday. So that's Chicago for you. High yesterday of 76, low today of 32. Literally, it was warmer at midnight than it will be the rest of the day. It's just going to get colder and colder and colder every hour which is strange because like as the day comes and sun hits high noon you think it's the warmest no not in chicago it's just like we're starting here and we're going down but i'm out here getting five miles on the legs before my long run tomorrow 
before Florida. I do plan on running in Florida. So this is the dopey challenge. Remember I talked about this. This is the dopey challenge, not a four day weekend in, in January in Florida. The dopey challenge is on a Friday morning when you're supposed to get five miles in. This big kid. We've been practicing. Oh! And we're still working on it. Do you want to hear something crazy? The purple streamer from Jamesy's birthday got wet and on the floor and dyed our floor. So I have to get a magic eraser and get that off. Like, straight up, whatever made that streamer purple was something to be reckoned with. Okay, first errand of the day is done. Went to Whole Foods to return some things from Amazon and got a couple of Friday treats. Cookies, Peter that peppermint, La Cologne. I got a little kombucha. Um, so I guess that counts as like a grocery stuff. So. We'll tally that at three. And look at this child. Oh. <laughs> it's 45 degrees out today compared to the 75 it was yesterday. Peppermint mocha latte? I've never seen it before. Ooh, look at the little seasonal batch flag. Oh. Ooh, frothy and delicious. <laughs> Thank you. This was gonna be some sort of thoughtful transition, but my toes are so cold, and I think all oh, my shoes is breaking. So I'm gonna need a manicure and pedicure, and that's why I'm wearing these shoes. But I can only hope that the, the, that the one that looks kind of wonky lasts me home. Plus my toes are so cold. I honestly don't even think I've looked in the mirror today. Um, but I'm headed to a salon that I've never been to before. It's on Holston, just south of Roscoe. It's called Sapphire. And I always walk past it, it looks nice. So we'll see, see how it goes. I think I'm gonna go green. I like it because the chairs are tall. It is. <laughs> Chilly. It feels so crisp, <laughs> like winter crisp. Um, but I think that was the best manicure and pedicure I've ever gotten. The only, the only thing was I asked for a matte finish and they didn't do it on the toes. They like forgot. And beforehand they're like, matte looks dirty. And I was like, I like matte. And then she did gloss anyways, but it still looks really good. <laughs> However, it did take a long time. So I'm like, power walking home. Um, I don't know if we mentioned, well, we'll, we'll talk about the Andrew McMahon um, benefit concert when I get home. It's cold, guys. It's very cold now. Um, I'm doing a pre-trip car clean out just because it's good to feel fresh when you get back. We're not using this necessarily for the vacation. We are going to drive to the suburbs and Sarah's cousin's going to drive us to our hotel tomorrow in the van and leave it at Christina and Grant so that Grant can pick us up from the airport when we return. So it is being used in that way, but I cleaned it out. I also wanted to see like the console that we got for the double wide city mini. I want to make sure that that fit. So that's there. I'm gonna bring a bugaboo in the apartment. My mouth's like freezing up. So I have my out of office on my work email. I closed out my time card, which is a week early. Put my PTO on there. Don't bug me. Told my, told my team, I love you. Here's my cell phone. If something is going direly wrong with you or our health, don't contact me otherwise. So they're gonna be great. My boss is great. My peer managers, are, uh, we're all friends. They're gonna be able to hold the fort down pretty well. So I was cleaning out the car, some garbage and some last one things. I've been kind of just like chilling in here. Sarah ordered dinner. We're gonna do some tidying, some organizing, um, 
feel like that's all we've been doing this week. Oh, our neighbors. I saw my neighbors upstairs, like, getting stuff clearly from, like, some kind of storage because it was, like, tons of Christmas boxes. And they have a Christmas tree up. Ah! Um, we'll be doing that shortly after we get back from Disney. And it'll be real. That's just our opinion and our way of life. I'm excited. All right, gotta go. It's freezing. I'm not about this frozen life anymore. I was telling people from work, because I work with predominantly people from Orlando, but there's also a team in Missouri, Springfield, and like they get me, but they're also like, Ew. Did we say we're not going? I think so. No, maybe. Yesterday. We're not going to the con. Yeah, okay. So, what worked best for us was not going. We are going to live stream the benefit for, I think it's like a flat rate. Peter really wanted me to go by myself. And so our compromise was watching it together at home with the kids and ordering out food somewhere that we've always wanted to try, which is called Cozy Noodles and Rice. It's on Sheffield, real close by. We got two dishes that are actually named in honor of... Ezra right, man. <laughs> no, in honor of the 2016 Chicago Cubs World Series champions. All right, what do we got going on here? We got some... Yeah. We got some crab rangoon. We got some pot stickers. We got some noodles that go in this curry, coconut curry. Oh, oh yeah. People want it. And then this this right here, which looks like it's just delicious. Noodles heaven. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Those are named after Suzuki. Spicy Suzuki, and I don't know what... That one's like the Addison Red Lung. Thai curry ramen is actually what it's called. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come on, I'll get some plates. Uh oh. Up. Here are the dishes a little bit more close up. This one has chicken, shrimp, and beef. And then here, oh wait. Here's a little beggar dog. This is so good. It's chicken, coconut, Thai, curry. So yummy. Is it good? Also, I made a Brookhart Christmas Spotify list. It's literally just called Brookhart Christmas. So if you want to listen to it, it's on Spotify. I actually am not done with it yet, but lots of good stuff on there. Like, Buffalo Gal, won't you come out tonight? And by the light this of the really good. Yeah. Ooh, James agrees. Mmm. Shrimp dumplings. All right, Sarah and I just went through the battle of putting both the children down, but we came out happy and successful. Ooh, he's got a beard. Look at the hair. Um, I went to go live stream the Andrew McMahon fundraiser that we're supposed to be at. We actually have two tickets to this. It's live at House of Blues. It's 9.15. We thought this started at 8, but apparently he had openers because literally, as I put on the stream, he came out on stage to start. So we could watch, like, see, that's what is a sign that it was meant to be that our kids would give us a struggle. Yeah. yeah. But... It's, you have hard times putting kids down to sleep sometimes. But Andrew McMahon, live. And it's a really nice live stream. I didn't think there would be all these angles and everything. But Sarah and I would be right up there if we were there right now. It's late. Live stream was good. We didn't get to watch all of it for the benefit concert. Kind of divided and conquered. Some of our to-do lists got pushed till tomorrow. <laughs> but we're going to go to bed. Oh, our vacation starts. We have a very like busy first half of the day. Yeah. But then it's vacation. Yeah. Hotel. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>